As a reminder, a normal heart rate is between 60 to 100 beats per minute. Tachycardia, or a fast heart rate, refers to a heart rate that is greater than 100 beats per minute. Bradycardia, or a slow heart rate, refers to a heart rate that is less than 60 beats per minute. There are two methods for calculating the heart rate, and the choice of these depends on whether the patient has a regular or irregular heart rhythm. Let's look at the first method using the RR interval. This method is suitable for regular rhythms. To use this method, count the number of large squares within one RR interval. Next, divide 300 by this number to calculate the heart rate. In this example, there are seven large squares Therefore, the calculation is 300 divided by 7, which equals 48. This second method is useful when the heart rhythm is irregular. In this situation, we can't use the RR interval method as the RR interval will vary. To use this method, you need to make sure you're dealing with a standard ECG strip, which is typically 10 seconds long or 50 large squares. Count the number of QRS complexes on the rhythm strip. After you've done this, multiply the number of QRS complexes by 6, giving you the number of QRS complexes within one minute. In this example, we can see we have 11 QRS complexes. Therefore, when we times this by 6, we get a heart rate of 66 beats per minute. For further ECG guidance, head over to the Geeky Medics website or practice your interpretation skills using our OSCE station bank. If you liked this video, you'll love our textbook. The Geeky Medics Clinical Examination Guide summarises all the key examination skills for your practical exams. Buy now at geekymedics.com.